Hey guys, my special Razzle Dazzle is streaming right now on Netflix. Go to Netflix, check it out. I hope you like it. If you do, post about it on Instagram. I'll share it. I love you. That's all. I already made the special. It's out there. I just want you to watch it. Razzle Dazzle streaming right now on Netflix. I'm super proud of it. I, I don't look as fat as I do today, so I look skinny in it. It's, it's interesting when you gain weight. I'm gaining weight for a movie, really, because I just want to watch my movie, movie, The Machine, which is coming out in theaters only Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend in theaters only The Machine. I'm super excited about that. Also, I have fucking three tours. <laughs> Tops Off World Tour. We've got Bismarck, Sioux Falls, Oshkosh, Peoria, Rockford next week. Then the week after that, Augusta, Tupelo, Boozer City, Jonesboro, and Charleston, West Virginia. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Lexington, Kentucky, Detroit, and Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio, to be more accurate. And then I'm in New Zealand. Auckland, New Zealand on the 17th. The 19th, Wellington. And then over to Australia from Melbourne, uh, Torrensville, which is, uh, I think, Adelaide, technically. Perth, South Brisbane, and Sydney on the 29th. And then, hold on. Bert. How much shit do you have going on? Do you ever take a fucking break? No, I don't take a break. Because one day I'm going to be dead and it all goes black, okay? So I do as much as I can while my feet are on this fucking ground. While I'm on this side of the dirt, I'm going to do everything I fucking can. And I'm going to have the best time of my life. And you know how I have the best time of my life? Hanging out with comedians. That's why you listen to this podcast. You know that I love comedians. I love talking comedy. But motherfucker, the only thing I like more than talking comedy is doing comedy and doing comedy with the best comics in the fucking country. Ladies and gentlemen, fully loaded. This is the tour. It starts June 14th and ends July 15th. We're taking off 4th of July. We're not working that weekend. Myself, Mark Norman, Shane Gillis, Tiffany Haddish, Stavros Haliakis, Fortune Feimster, Dave Attell, Louis Black, Jim Norton, Andrew Santino, Big J. Okerson, Jay Farrow, Dan Soder, Chad Daniels, Ralph Barbosa, Rosebud Baker, and Tammy Pescatelli. I'm telling you, we are going fucking huge. Starting in Forest Hills, New York, out at the stadium, the outdoor stadium, then Baltimore, Mosick, Musick, PA, Guilford, Traverse City, Fort Wayne, St. Louis, Lincoln, Huntsville, New Orleans, Memphis, Oklahoma City, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Boise, Idaho, and ending at the fucking gorge in Washington. That might be a destination event. I'm not going to lie to you. That might be a destination event. I'll tell you a big time secret, a big, big time secret about that. Uh, I have a couple special guests lined up. That's all I'm going to say. We've got the lineups are all set out. It's all on my Instagram. Go to my Instagram to check everything out. Let's get to the fucking podcast. This is one of my favorite podcasts I've ever done. Uh, I think I sit with comics so much that sometimes I forget I can make people laugh. And I genuinely made Patty Pimblett laugh a couple times and it made me so fucking happy. I'm a big fan of his. I've been a big fan before he was in even in the UFC. That was a clip that went viral from Rogan is I was so excited for Patty the Batty. And Rogan was like, really? I go, yeah, it's his haircut. And he's like, he hasn't even fought yet. And I go, I know, but I like him. Him and Sean O'Malley. Those are my guys. I like them. I like, oh, there's a lot. Of, by the way, I like all the UFC guys. I mean, Connor's my buddy. I'm going to post a picture of Connor and me hanging out. Did you post it? Perfect. I mean, that's my my guy. Is Connor? I mean, he's like, we both sold out the O3 Arena in Dublin. I mean, what are you gonna do? By the way, Connor's his guy too. I think they're really close. Uh, but this is a great fucking podcast. This is a great fucking podcast. I hope you enjoy it as much as my special Razzle Dazzle streaming right now on Netflix or my movie The Machine in theaters only Memorial Day weekend. Without further ado. My buddy, Patty the Batty Pimblet. All right. I love you too, brother. Bye. Do you know Theo? I don't know him, but he's fucking hilarious. He's fucking. Are we started, Halston? Okay. He is so fucking funny. He is so fucking funny. Like, no one knows. Like, I, I know how funny he is. I think people will appreciate how funny he is, but God damn it, he's fucking funny. It's like you ever see a guy who. When you the first time you see him roll or or, or fight or move and your your the name of your your gym your training gym is yeah next gen next, next gen. generation and you guys in that I mean that's the one vlog I saw you guys won every single fight it was the night that Molly lost her fight yeah you guys won every single fight in the first round I think 
Yeah, and so it's, it's a badass gym. And Molly's a part of that gym, right? And so, but what, and by the way, I'm talking like I know MMA. I know nothing about MMA. But like Theo's the guy that you see roll for the first time. Because I did. I, me and Amy Schumer watched him hang out. And we were like, this is the funniest man in the fucking world. Like he was so fucking funny on a level that he would say things where we're like, how does your brain thinking of these? And, and, and but he's, uh, I love the dude. I'm a ride or die for him. That he is hilarious. Me and my, some of my mates love Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz is before. fucking. Yeah. Joey, what, what comics do you like? Um, most of the comics I like, like UK ones, to be honest. Like who? Like, like uh, um, Kevin Bridges, Frankie Boyle. Yeah, Frankie Boyle's great. I like. How about how about deep uh, dark comedy sadistic? Who did I shit. just have on? You know Russell Howard? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know Russell he Howard. Fucking. I and mean, I've had Daniel Sloss on my podcast. If you know Daniel, he's I know hilarious. him very well. And I know Kai him very well. Yeah. You know podcast. Kai Humphreys? Yeah. That motherfucker. We got hammered with those guys. They're funny, aren't they? They're lad. fucking awesome. They're boss, lad. The pair of them. And I've, went to, I've seen them both live as well, and they're fucking hilarious. Dude, they are. That's like my source of comedy. Dark, yeah. Like dark comedy. You know what I mean? You, I, yeah, there's man. Because when I was younger, I grew up watching a bit of like Richard Pryor. Like, where he goes about shooting the car tires. They don't kill car. <laughs> 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 Stuff like that. I think I mean? it's funny. I think that fighters have better sense of humor out of all the athletes like uh i think fighters well i think i wonder if that's why the, the connection joe's had we've run into a lot of fighters that are always the coolest fucking dudes but they talk to you on a level like what's amazing about a fighter is that they don't really fuck around with texting and stuff they're just like i've had big fighters like go like hey man i sent you a text you didn't reply what the fuck's going on and you're like oh shit this is a guy who doesn't mind confrontation <laughs> I, I'm one for talking. Like, uh, texting's the most. I've I've nearly had arguments with some of my best friends because of texts. Yeah. Just because like you message them and like a message comes across snotty, and they take it the wrong way. You know what I mean? Dude. Nearly had it yesterday in the group chat. One of them he meets up and his brother said, "Oh, what do you mean you're trying to take the piss out?" And I'm like, "No, I'm just having a laugh." You know what I mean? Yeah. But because you've put it in a group chat and people have read it a certain way, it's like you're taking the piss, or it sounds different. You know what I mean? I'd always rather speak to someone on the phone, me. Or talk to someone face to face. Yeah, I'm bad at I'm bad at texting because it comes out, it can come out shitty, and then all of a sudden it's misconstrued, and I'm and I'm dyslexic, and I need reading glasses, so I read text and I get really upset. Like I just I just did one for my cousin, and and I, but but it's funny you'll get like three bubbles, and I'll read the last one first, and I'll go fuck, what is this about? And then you got to go back, and I've not read the first one before, and been like replied to the last one. <laughs> Should I go back? Yeah. Ugh. Where I'm here now, I'm where eight hours behind the UK. So every morning, sometimes I have to wake up and there's 550 messages in the group chat. I'm like, can't read them today. But I have to go up and like just skim through it and just see if I've missed anything. I don't even read emails anymore. I haven't read an email in fucking years. I my I, I read so few emails. This is 100 percent true. M my emails get sent back because I'm my inbox and my iCloud is full. totally full because I don't read any fucking I emails. I don't really use emails though. I don't yeah. like emails. Like Text me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Who's the most famous text you've gotten from a person? Like a text where you were like, shut the fuck up. Or maybe uh, like, maybe a DM or on Instagram. Um, Shaq, that DM, and I left them in, I, I left them in me requests for about six months. I swear I didn't notice he was in there. What did he say? Like something like, yeah, it was after my debut, like, fuck yeah, keep going, something like that. You know what I mean? Like an encouragement message. And I seen it months later and was like, oh my God, I've left Big Shaq on request. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my God. That's like the most, I'd say that's the most famous person I've had in my DMs. Like, definitely. You know I, had, what I, mean? I had The Rock. Yeah, that's sick. I, have, I still have it. Well, The Rock tweeted something about Molly's elbow, didn't he, that time? And so she she's had a little correspondence with The Rock, Molly. Well, what's crazy is uh, like guys like The Rock will do voice memos, like voice texts to you. Yeah. And they hit allow to replay and so i've got the rock all of them saved <laughs> like and sometimes i'll listen to him to just pump myself up like when he was in the uk a couple of months ago charlie hunnam no to sons of man yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. facetimed me you know what oh. i mean i spoke to him on facetime yeah. does that does that is that still affect you or like or is there you kind of like when like like jeremy piven was in my dms and stuff like that yeah. as well and like met people like storms he's saying that you know who storms he is oh, no. yeah storms in it yeah yeah <laughs> Like we're rapping, isn't it? Yeah, I met Michael <laughs> Douglas. That was a belter one. Yeah, that's it. Shut up. Wait, y'all say better than me. 
I say, shut up. Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. I fucking it. love Stormzy, dude. He's on it. I love it. Stormzy. Can I tell you what I was? I, he's that, one of the coolest dudes ever. You know, like when we met him, like yeah. he come in to meet me and Molly. He's a big dude. Yeah, he's very. Uh, Molly picked him up. Molly high seed him. No. And I swear to God, he was gonna land on his shoulder, and I had to grab him. Shut the fuck up. Stop. But like he's one of the coolest dudes ever. He come in and he didn't just say hello to me and Molly. Every person in the room went, oh my, what's happening, mate? Nice to meet you. No, I mean, like a proper down to earth fella. He wasn't stuck up his own ass like a lot of people are. Fucking Storms, he's badass. Yeah, that's that's badass, what someone lad. I'd like to meet. Yeah, Storms, he's cool, lad. God, I fucking was. I play that song when in my we have lo, what we call load in music, where as the audience loads in in a theater, I'll just play music and I play that song. Shut up all the and time. And when I went the F one, I met a few people there, and I had a camera with me for my vlog. Mm-hmm. And on the, you see it on the thing, it's like a three sixty camera, and you see Stormzy in the background, like see me, and then like say something to someone, like I'll I'll come back now and come over to me and go, can I get a picture? And I went, lad, can I, can you get a picture? I want a picture with you. Fuck know what I mean? <laughs> God damn, that's a good one. That's yeah. a fucking good one. Like I see Michael Douglas that day as well. Michael Douglas. Yeah, because it was at the F1. It was mad. No one else really noticed him. Know what I mean? Yeah. Because he's an older fella, and I've seen so many films with him. And I was over and like, can I, Michael, can I have a picture, please? <laughs> Michael Douglas is Michael Douglas is a prototype for the perfect American male. He's like, an OG. He's an OG. He's an OG. God, man, OG. now I'm trying to think. I, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't think I have had, had anyone. Mine, mine suck compared to yours. Yours are so much better. But I'm not. I'm, I'm bad with celebrities. No, Michael like, Douglas never asked me for the picture though. Did you get a picture? with I him? asked him for the oh, picture. Fuck yeah, yeah, bro. of course. Oh, I asked see, him that's one. my problem. Is I'll, I'll go to a celebrity and go. I, 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 when I worked with Will Smith, I remember saying I wanted a picture. This is back when you had a camera to get a picture. Yeah. And my manager said, "Buddy." You're either the guy they take pictures with or the guy that takes pictures. Yeah. Pick which one. And my my old manager had great sage sayings like that. And so I didn't get a picture with Will Smith, so I have no proof that I know Will Smith. <laughs> like when I when I met Virgil van Dijk, like I was in on field and I got talked to, so I met Calvin Harris and Virgil van Dijk because Calvin Harris was at the game. Yeah. So I met both of them and it was funny because me, I took one of my mates to that game and my mate was stood with me. My mate had, had a few beers as well, like, my mate Jack, one of my best mates, and as soon as Verge come in, like we're, we're, we're big reds, you know what I mean? Yeah. But Jack went, Jack got his phone out straight away and like went, and was going to ask him, lad, chill out a sec, lad, we're having a conversation, we'll get a picture before we leave, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, that's it, it just comes to me, that's what people must be like, who'd like me or yeah. you, yeah. straight away, they don't even like, they just want to get a picture straight away, but we end up getting a Belzer picture with them. You know what I mean? Van Dyke, <laughs> Calvin Harris, me, and one of my best mates. Dude, we the best I had this past weekend. We were in where we, we performed in Tempe. We were at the Super Bowl, and uh, we did. I did four shows at this arena, and and every night football players would come in. Like the O line for the for the Chiefs came in one night. Um, the big night, and we had it every night. Gabe Davis was there. Gabe Davis is like one of the, the possibly the best receiver in the NFL right now. There's a couple of them. Chris Godwin was there. Like these, these are like legends, right? Yeah. These are like the the bros. Christian McCaffrey, the guy I was telling you about, this, I, I was asking if I could catch him in a square box. <laughs> he was there, and my buddy who I grew up with, who produces all my specials, was there, and he brought his son. His son's twelve years old, thirteen. The best feeling I've ever had in this business is watching my buddy's son see all these legends of the NFL be in a room and and me just going like, Christian, can you get a picture with my buddy's son? And his his son was like, this is the greatest day of my life. Yeah. He looked at these NFL players the way that we guys look at pussy. Like if, <laughs> like if, if put hot chicks came in the room, they'd be like, what the fuck? That's anytime a big dude would walk in this 12 year old's like, oh, God. Is that fucking Chris Godwin? And I was like, you want to meet him? And he's like, mm, please, please. That's the fucking, that's my yeah. favorite. I wish I had sons. I got ruined with girls. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that's why I always say like, years ago, someone, I asked a fighter for a picture at a fan expo and they said, oh, I'm in a rush. No, and walked away. And that's why I always say, I'll never say no to someone. Yeah. Because you've got to think about them. You know what I mean? I know it's it's annoying for us, but you make someone's day. Oh. You know what I mean? Like literally you make someone's whole day. I, there's a guy named David Tell. He's like the best comic. If you like dark humor, if you, you I promise you, I'm, I'm just introduced you to your favorite like. comedian you'll ever like. like Patrice O'Neill. He's oh. fucking great. Patrice would have loved you. Yeah. <laughs> he would have fucking loved you. He's absolutely. He hilarious. would have fucking loved I've, you. I've sat there and cried watching some of it, like 
the same ones over and over again as well. Oh. And who else? Uh, Aries Spears as well. He's hilarious. Aries, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Hilarious. Our area is fucking great. <laughs> Dude, I, Patrice and I lived in Edinburgh for like 29 days together. In Scotland? In Scotland, yeah, <laughs> doing the Edinburgh Festival. And that motherfucker was the funniest guy. But one thing, and I'm, I'm, I don't I hate to speak on behalf of a man who's passed, but he he loved athletes. Yeah. Like he loved, like, cause he was an athlete. He played football in, in high school. And so like there was a foot, there was a uh, rugby guy that came to one of our shows. Gorgeous dude, a uh, light skinned black dude, massive. And we spent every day with this guy every day. He was like, Hey, he wants to go have a beer. Patrice didn't drink. Yeah. And he'd be like, you want to <laughs> have a beer with him and me? And then we'll just hang out. He was like, I can't just go. And the guy's like, and the guy, because Patrice shouldn't drink. Yeah. So I'd go with him and get hammered with this guy, and Patrice would hang out with him. He would have <laughs> fucking loved you. He would have loved you, man. He was a fun fucking guy. He's comedy gold, lad. He's absolutely You hilarious. have no idea. He would tell stories. He would tell stories that would make that would make you cry laughing. And you go, why don't you tell them on stage? And he's just like, I haven't gotten to it. I wish he was still around. He was like talking yeah. about cancel culture. That guy would have fucking burned the bridge, <laughs> burned the bridges into cancel culture town. He fucking did not give a fuck. It's, yeah, hey, that's my favorite type of comic. And he loved food. You and Patrice might have been best friends. <laughs> he could put down like he was someone that like. So when we went to Scotland, he found out about uh, is it black pudding? Yeah, black is it, pudding. It's made out of blood. Yeah, it's made, like I'll be honest. I re- only recently started eating black pudding, like the last twelve months or something. I wasn't. I was like, oh, it's a little yeah. bit. But black certain places do the life of black pudding. So we found black pudding. We and went in to, Scotland, it's some of the best black pudding that you can get. Yeah. So we went to this uh, breakfast with that fo- football guy or whatever he is, rugby guy, and the guy we or- ordered proper English breakfast, right, with the ham and the sausage and the onion the yeah, tomato yeah. and the beans so you get bacon sausage hash browns beans tomatoes black pudding mushrooms I yeah get mushrooms them. yeah and then they had black, black pudding and the guy told us what it was and patrice took a bite and he sat there and he goes you guys got ketchup and they're like yeah and he goes I'll take some more black pudding and some ketchup. <laughs> and we fucked. And we then started going to stores and getting black pudding at the stores and making it at home. He loved it. Fucking. In Scotland, they do white pudding as well. What's that? I don't even know what it's made out of, but I've had it. It's fucking delightful. For real? Yeah. What's the craziest? Yeah, do you like Indian food? Pudding. Yeah. What? Laura's favorite foods, Indian food. Really? What? what what's, your, what's your order in an Indian restaurant? Um, don't know, Laura. Come up here. Uh, Is your wife here? Or your yeah, fiance here? But what's I don't know. Uh, I just go with the ones that you know. Don't go no it's nothing too heavy. Chicken tikka masala, chicken korma. You know I mean? Yeah, chicken tikka masala is a My favorite thing. things in an Indian is yeah, there's white pudding. See, it doesn't usually contain pork or meat. You gotta have. You know, what you gotta have. Are you in Philadelphia anytime soon? I'm on a Philly cheese day. Like, hold on, hang on. Can I, I, mean, can I, I plan out Philly. some of your fucking meals? Me, 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 please. Mm-hmm. He lives there, and I haven't been to Philly okay. still, so I need to go to Philly, but okay. I don't know if I'm going to have time over the next Dude, few weeks. Dude, come on. The, I, I got to tell you, I, your fighting career is great, but your eating career is so much better. <laughs> you fucking eating is my favorite thing ever, because you, you eat you eat like, I can watch your eyes. Like some, You ever see you watch a shark attack, and the shark's eyes go back in its head? Yeah. I watch your eyes when you eat, you, and when it gets to dessert, you're like, I'm not done. I'm eating his. I'm eating yeah. his. Uh, when I we had the so- same order at, at the Ivy. Did you know that? So we uh, went to the Ivy. You went to the Ivy in, in Dublin? Dublin yeah. We went to the Ivy in Dublin, and I ordered the same fucking thing you did, fish and chips and a burger, and I ate both. By the way, I ordered two entrees. Yeah. I love two entrees. But I, but why wouldn't you? Yeah. Like, First of all, what I do, what I do sometimes- Sometimes I skip starter and get two mains. You know what I mean? Like, I will. So this is how I order. We have to go to eat sometime. Definitely. Because this is how I order. I say, what are your best on? What are your best appetizers? And they name them. I go, give me your four best appetizers. I don't even know what they are. Just bring them out. Razzle dazzle. See, I couldn't do that. That Razzle dazzle. This no. is what you got to order. Razzle dazzle. And then go, what's your best entree? Great. Can I get, I want your cheeseburger or a BLT. I always go BLT. Like I always got a sample. So we were going to do breakfast today for, for, I think for your vlog. It was, we were talking about it and I was like, no, 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 I got it. I know how to order. Cause when I go and I order for breakfast, the number one thing is I get four eggs over easy, uh, corned beef and hash, bacon, and sausage. Corned beef hash for the Becky? Oh, dude. Like spam. 
Yeah, I like spam. Yeah, it's it's so fucking good. That's rough. It's so good. And then I always get their BLT. You can define how good someone is on their BLT. Like that's how you know how good a restaurant. If they take time and really give you a great BLT, then that's when you know you're at a good. See when it with the BLT though, you just literally just bake a lettuce tomato, little mayonnaise, maybe an egg. Oh, shut the fuck up. See, I need simplicity. Shit on there as simplicity. Well. simplicity. It's the simplicity. See, I, I'm even simpler. Don't put the shite on. Don't put the lettuce or tomato on. Just give me chicken, bacon, mayo, boom. Ooh. Five Guys does a breakfast bacon sandwich. You know Five Guys? Yeah. They we have a... Five Guys in the UK. Yeah. You've got to remortgage your house if you want to buy one. Like... You guys call it Five Blokes? Uh-huh. Get it? Five <laughs> lads. Five lads. I did that joke in the UK uh, to my friends. But uh, <laughs> they, do, they do a breakfast bacon sandwich. Where they put roughly a pound of bacon on two buns with that mayonnaise. Good. <sighs> they don't do that in the UK. Oh my god! See, we we do gluttony probably better than anyone. Yeah, you do. It's the the best. It's the we I take it, it to the top. The thing with me, what kills me and makes me put weight on is the drinks, the sodas. Yeah, because I literally like the other day was as I say we watched the Super Bowl there for about three and a half hours. I drank about eight Pepsi's. Hey, grab him. Do we have any Olipop? Grab a, a selection of Olipops. That's Olipops. Oh, I just, I, I, I look, we're two guys that like to dr- eat and drink and, <laughs> and, and imbibe. I want you to taste this. If you have grape one, grape, you ever had like grape soda? Yeah, yeah. Grape's one of my favorite. Grape and orange are my two favorite. These are low calorie prebiotics and they're fucking out of this world. Yeah, because it tastes all of these. What do we have? Grape? Oh, I'll take a grape too. So wait. No, just try. No, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. If you like grape soda, you're gonna fucking love this. Now realize that you had right there. How many calories in a yeah, coke? Yeah, one forty, and this got forty five. Forty five. Tell me if you can taste the difference. It tastes like a grape soda, doesn't it? This tastes like grape, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking all, and it's good for your stomach. It's a prebiotic. <sighs> Not beats Coca Cola though. It was hard to beat Coca. Yeah, guess what? Like <laughs> coffee doesn't beat real Coke either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a blowjob's not as good as a hand job. <laughs> or a hand job's not in as good the, as a blowjob. In the UK, yeah. there's a sugar tax now. Really? So anything that's high in sugar gets taxed more. So a lot of our drinks have been ruined. Fanta oh. and all that have been ruined. Dr. Dude. Pepper doesn't taste the same. The only the only drink, that's why I love them and I stand firm with them, that stayed strong and said, fuck you, we're keeping our drink the same, is Coke. Really? Yeah, so like comes of coke with sugar and like an extra twenty p in the shop. Dude, uh, that makes me. That, by the way, the, our southern states would storm the capital if that happened. <laughs> if they tried to tax sugary drinks, my <laughs> wife's family will go through. They buy the two liters. Yeah, and drink the two liters. See, I that's the only thing. Like, I can't get a big two liter bottle of coke because by the time you've got five hundred mil left, it's flat. Yeah, it's fine. You know what I mean, I just I stick to cans. I don't even get 500 mil bottles anymore. Yeah. I just stick to cans because it's fresh as fuck. Oh. Or a glass bottle of that Mexican Coke. <sighs> Mexican Coke is next fucking level. Uh, Mexican, you just feel like sitting there playing with your bell end <laughs> as you're drinking it. Yeah. Like that. By the way, you sound like my wife. What? If my wife, my wife gets a Mexican Coke, her tits get hard. She's like, <laughs> uh, That's what it's like, man. What did you think of, what did you think of the deep dish in Chicago? It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit mad. I'd rather have a normal pizza any day of the week. Yeah, I think I think if you grow up on it, it's fine. You went to the same Illuminati's as where yeah, I went. Yeah, yeah, And it's, and Illuminati's is the, the no, place. I thought their normal pizza was better than that pizza. You know what I mean? They've done a lovely normal pizza. You've got to be in the mood for it. It's it's different. It's a more of a meaty, de- it's more of a meal, like a hearty that, meal as opposed that to- That sandwich I went for. Okay, hold on. Lad. So uh, it's Al's famous, uh, Yeah, it's- that's where I had. I had. Lad. And so how funny I, was he, lad? Did you meet him? I met him. I did it for television. Now, I had been on a diet. I had been on a fast for 27 days, a cleanse, where I was only drinking juices and lean protein with greens in the afternoon, and then juices at night with lumps of protein. I had lost, I'd gotten down to 200 uh, pounds. I was really skinny. I was working for Travel Channel. And my first meal I had was that. My mouth's watering as I tell you about this. I ate four. I ate four sandwiches. You had two. I yeah. ate four. I didn't have any fries. I couldn't stop fucking eating that's, them. That's what I mean. I, so I felt great. like eating more, but my manager was looking at me like, you've got to go home and get ready for another I didn't know you could yet. have cheese on it. You put I know cheese he put on cheese it. on the second one. Flat. And then the cheesy fries. He made me a cheesy fries and just the fries with the, the sauce on as well. So I had two fries. It's one of the best, it's one of the one best of the sandwiches. Best sandwiches I've ever had in my life. No, there's one in Philly that you have to go to. It's in uh, Reading Terminal Market. 
It is... Uh, Blaze, you best know where this is. Wait, or are you getting Philly? slapped up. No, I'm looking oh, at the camera. Oh, 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 I was like, I'm I, looking at, were, I was like, Blaze has been in the room the whole yeah, time? I'm looking at the camera as I say it, lad. Know what it's, I mean? uh, it is... It is... Uh, it wants, it's Adam Richman. Type in Adam Richman, Reading Market. It is... The f- I'll call Adam. You know Adam Richman. You ever heard of seen Man versus Food? Oh yeah, of course, of course. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get his job in a few years. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna call for that job, lad. Let's see. Let's see if Adam will answer. He he'll. Yeah, I guess look at this. Is it a big man thing? Yeah. Man versus Food. Let's see. If- Didn't he have to quit? Yeah. Uh, I heard he went vegan or not. No, he definitely didn't go fucking. That's vegan. what I mean. People say that he went he, vegan and he that he had to quit because he put too much weight on. Go vegan. Here he is, Adam. Am I on your show now? Yeah, you're with Patty Pimblett over there. What's that? Hey. And we're talking sandwiches, and I'm trying to remember the name of the of the sandwich you got at the Reading Market. Oh, Tommy Janik's roast pork with um, extra sharp provolone and broccoli rub. Yeah, that's, that's the same. We're talking though. about food. Where uh, he's he, uh, you got to check out his vlog. He has food on his vlog, and he went. He just did Chicago. I watched it. It's fucking amazing. But he eats like we do. He really enjoys it. You look good. Are you <laughs> shooting you something? Doing, you look good. Thank you. I'm doing a, a satellite media tour today for the History Channel show. I'm doing uh, season four of Food That Built America. Dude, come out to LA. Do my podcast, I'm please. Not gonna lie, I would. In I'd a probably say no so broccoli. I'm so stinking proud. Thank you, brother. I love you, man. I'll talk to you soon. Love you so much. Bye. Bye. He's yeah. a great dude. I'd probably say no broccoli. No, no, no. That's what makes it. See, here's what I got to convince you, Patty. Have you ever gotten a blowjob and someone tried to put their finger in your ass? No. You got to try it. No. <laughs> I think that's a bit weird. No, no. I think you'd like it. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how I was going to. I was hoping you were going to say yes, and then I realized you've been with the same chick for 11 yeah. years. I was like, fuck. You don't get a lot of strange she, blowjobs, yeah, she, do ya? No, <laughs> you? No, she definitely lot. wasn't trying to stick a yeah. finger up But the way eyes. she's listening downstairs yeah. going, he better say fucking no. <laughs> 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 you, my point is, you got to try for new shit. <laughs> is it broccoli on a sandwich? It's like a finger in your asshole. It, you don't think you're going to like it. And then you're like, shit, I wouldn't mind doing this every day. <laughs> I've never, I've never heard that one like getting your getting your <laughs> finger I've never I've heard getting your ass all licked not yeah. getting your finger stuck up there yeah yeah no, it, it doesn't stick up there like Chinese finger traps yeah. you're like oh shit we're gonna have a hard time getting to work tomorrow <laughs> she's driving to work like you're on the, yeah. no the, 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 the <laughs> Uh, I've only been with six chicks. <laughs> so, so, I don't, I, like, I, this is a horrible line of questioning. I don't know how I got into this. It's all because of this fucking broccoli rob. It's a good sandwich. <laughs> uh, that, that, that one in Chicago is one of the best I've had, but I'll probably have to try that. I thought it'd be a proper Philly cheese steak, though. Philly cheese steak. Well, you got to go to Gino's and Pat's. They're, yeah. they're opposing. You got to do both. I would suggest you do both. Yeah, so do you can Gino's, both. do Pat's. I got to be honest with you. I mean, there's so much great food in Philly. The thing I would say is Scrapple. You ever had Scrapple? Never Type in Scrapple. It. Scrapple's fucking amazing with two eggs. Over easy. Scrapple. A little bit of ketchup. Scrapple is is basically all the... It's basically a, uh, like a hot dog. Type in Scrapple. Pennsylvania Dust the, name. It's it's scraps of pork and trimmings combined with like... Uh, with like I like oats pork and stuff. belly. Oh, but, I mean. Pork belly stuff. You like, like barbecue? Pork. Yeah. Have you been to Austin yet? Texas? Yeah. No, I went to, there's a next generation in Texas where uh, my coach's coach has, Chris yeah. Brennan. But it's it, Frisco. When are you doing Frisco. it? Have you done Rogan's yet? No, no. What? Do you have it planned? No, no idea. Did you fucking reach out, do Rogan's, and then go out to eat with that motherfucker? Yeah. Dude, Rogan? <sighs> he eats like a wolf. He, we the sick to... thing about him, because he catches it in front of you as well. Well, don't eat the food that he serves you. Go out to eat with him. He's gonna fucking eat a fucking bear's dick. You go, you go, go where he goes to eat the barbecue. He takes you to Terry Black's. Fucking, um, that scrapple. It is so fucking good. It is so. It, it looks doesn't like look good. Beef hash. It kind of does. I buy like corned beef hash, so that's my. Look at that poor heart. Look at poor that. something else. Oh, it's so fucking good. But scrapple's something you gotta eat when you go to Philly. Um, well, that's something you- that Blaze has never mentioned to me. So well. Yeah, that's what I'm with that track. 
That tracks. Where are you going to next? I have it in the life of the day. Yeah, what's your schedule look like? When do you get surgery? Well, get on this. I only found this out the other day. I have to get a pre-op for my surgery. So pre-op. I fly on the 5th, I land home on the 6th, and my surgery's on the 7th. I land in London because I need to get this pre-op. As soon as I land in London on our drive home, we're going to have to stop off in Manchester and get the pre-op before we go home. And you're getting the surgery in Liverpool? I'm getting the surgery the day after I land. Really? Yeah, in Manchester on the 7th. And what happened to your ankle? Do you felt you felt it know. pop? Yeah, I felt it. Felt something go. I was like, wow, what's happened there? But like, it's been every now and then it twinges. So it's been, it must have already been there. But then I've done that and it's proper set it off. Yeah. Because it was making me balance going on stuff like that. But I've got to get it done. Simple as that. Get it done. And then I'll be back better than ever once that's fresh. The show is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you're at your best, you can do great things. But sometimes life gets you bogged down. You may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get a little closer to the best version of you because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you and the things life throw at you, you can't expect. And they're sometimes so simple, like your daughter getting a nose ring and it makes you out of control and, and it, it sounds silly and you can't bring it up to your wife because she's already dealt with it. And then you, but you keep ruminating about it and going over and over in your head. That's what's beautiful about therapy. If you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, it's flexible, affordable, and entirely entirely online, which I I gets my stamp of approval. For me, the fact that I don't have to get in a car, don't have to wait in a waiting room, then do therapy, then get back in the car and drive is a game changer for me. I can do it in my I can do it on the road, on the bus, in a hotel room. Here's the deal. All you're going to have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time at no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Burt today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Burt. Manscaped has new beard products, and I fucking love them. I love them. I'm using them on the road. I freaking love them. It's going even further with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go ahead and tell the world the leaders in below-the-waist grooming are traveling north of your South Pole with their revolutionary grooming product. The new Weed Whacker 2.0 and their new beard line confirms they have all the best tools for your hygiene toolbox. Time to upgrade your game by going to manscaped.com and using our code BERT for 20% off plus free shipping. I absolutely love their new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's easier than ever to craft a great, strong, signature look. It starts with your cordless electric beard hedger. This beard hedger is tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to single-stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. Their waterproof cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20, count them, 20 hair-cutting lengths, all with one guard, so there's no more messy drawers full of add-ons and by the way if you're a beard guy like me that is all you know is there are messy drawers full of full of add-ons i love this beard hedger what's great is you can go up to get it a significant length and then drop it down even lower and go down to cut off those stragglers i'm telling you right now everything they have in this thing is phenomenal so get 20 percent off and free shipping with our code bird at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code bird Always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. What's, what I find so interesting about you is, I, don't, I wonder if it's because you're a food guy, but like uh, your insight on that last fight, something that you said, what did, what did you think about the fight? And you're like, his head was so hard. Yeah, <laughs> like I that. love those little insights on life. I just like, should have seen my hands after it. Really? Both of my hands out. I was struggling doing a joint. Really? You know what I mean? Like my hands were killing me. And like that knuckle's still massive. Holy shit. But I think it's just like that now. But both of my hands were big. I had really? to get my hands x-rayed. Really? My feet. Yeah. That's what I find. It, like those little insights I talked to at Brenny Schaub one time. We were talking about his fight against uh, the one we, where he lost, uh, uh, Travis Brown. Yeah. And I said, what was the, we were talking about it. So he was doing a bit about it. And I said, what was the one thing? We were talking through it as a bit. And I yeah. said, what's the one thing you remember? And he goes, I remember Leonardo DiCaprio was in the front row. He's like, that's crazy. Leonardo DiCaprio will know who I am. And that's the, like those weird insights yeah. you have fighting. Cause it is a surreal I've had, thing. I've, I've, I've never been knocked out, but I've had a fight where it basically was, 
I got it with like a left hook backhand and the left hook, or it was either left hook backhand or backhand left hook. And the first punch hits me with, lad. If he wouldn't have hit me again, I don't think I would have got up. The first punch hits me, my body goes limp. He hits me again. My body like kick starts and as he goes to finish me, I start single leg and I'm getting up into a single leg. I end up surviving that round and I hit him with an elbow on the last second of the round. Lad, I've never seen so much blood. Fucking fight got stopped. That fight, lad, I could not remember. We ended up in the back. I, I come round and I was sitting in the medical room and his, he, he was over there getting his head like, look, that he had to go to the Aussie and I'm just sitting here and I've just come round, just went to fucking, went to Paul. What happened there? Did I win? You know what I mean? No. Yeah, that's what it's like. Like, I've only ever took big shots in like two fights and they were cage warriors fights. You know what I mean? People think I've took big shots in the UFC that I haven't. Yeah. You know what I mean? None of them punches were big. Every single one of them, I still had my wits about me. I still continued. But I went Teddy Violet at me a few years ago, lad. He whacked me and like I squatted against the cage and had to like recover and shoot in. And lad, he broke my nose. There was blood everywhere. I've never had me, I never even got my nose reset or anything. It just went, looks all right. There was blood everywhere. Second round, come out, end up kneeing him in the body on the floor. And because I need him, he gave me his back, I choked him. And as, as I was walking outside to go and have a drink with my mates outside the venue, I walked out with my arm around Lord and I turned and just said, what round did I win in there? You know what I mean? For real? Yeah. They, when you take a big shot, you know what I mean? That's why it always makes me laugh when people say, oh, he's been rocked in all his UFC fights. Lad, I've been rocked before and know what it's like getting rocked, lad. You can't remember the fight. You can't remember anything. You have to watch it back. Really? Yeah. Now, I mean, I think I know for a fact with stand-up, and this is the worst analogy you'll ever going to get out of me, <laughs> including the ass and the finger in the ass. But like with stand up, like when you do a special, when you do a special for Netflix, your adrenaline is so there, you're so in the moment that when you get done, you're like, "Fuck, did I do all the bits?" Like you're yeah. like it, there is an adrenaline where it's almost like you're out of yourself. Yeah. But you're talking like legit physical. Like, how was it? Yeah, I have a, I have a mate who's a he's a singer. You know what I mean? Jamie Webster, one of my good mates, and like he's like one of the only people that I can like speak to about that. You know what I mean? Because like he gets on stage and he sings, gets amped up, and he knows what it's like. Not many people, like, you've got a lot of more people you can speak to about and that. Not many yeah. people know what that's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got, like, Jamie and Molly, you know what I mean? They're, like, the people that I've got to speak to who understand that side of things. Yeah. We're in, like, the 0.001% in the world. It's 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 crazy that you perform on such a big scale. And your scale got so, it's got so big. It was it was literally like a moon, like like a moon landing. Like, it was fucking insane. It's just happened overnight, like yeah. But what, why do you? What do you think? What do you attest it to? I think it's just being myself. Yeah, everyone out there else, everyone else is a faker. You know what I mean? Everyone decides to be fake. You know what I mean? And I'm just being me. Does it bother you when you when you're you, and like it comes back and and you get like bad people, comments and yeah, stuff? Yeah, people say, "Oh, he's putting an act on." That pisses me right off. Really? People say he's putting an act on when I don't put an act on for no one. That. What I'm like behind the camera is what I'm like in front of the that camera. That is 100% accurate. You are you are not, I... It, it, it pisses me off when people think stuff like that, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm not Colby Covington, you know what I mean? I'm not like looking at this like WWE. Yeah. This is real life. And that's the way I look at things. Well, it's the thing that I think people draw are drawn to you about is that you don't... You seem like a guy who feels very feels very blessed to be where you are. Yeah. And you're really enjoying it. Yeah, I am. That's another thing that pissed me off in the last fight. People saying, oh, he needs to humble himself. But he's on about to humble himself. Fighter. Yeah, because I thought I won. I need to humble myself. Makes no sense, lad. Like, I like to think I'm one of the most humble guys you'll fucking ever come across. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm better than anyone. Yeah. It's crazy that people would say that to you, but then our favorite moments in MMA are fucking Nate Diaz putting the guy in a fucking triangle and flicking and flick, off. Flick, like those are our off. fucking moments. Or, yeah. or Connor. Or saying, Connor saying, who the fuck is that guy? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And oh, he's putting he... someone down. Yeah. The, I just but... thought I won. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I won. <laughs> I just thought I won. You know what I mean? And at the time, like, when I'd done the interview, I didn't think the fight was close. Yeah. When I went and watched it back, I thought it was closer. You know yeah. what I mean? But I don't know that when I'm in the cage. I see it from my two eyes and my point of view. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder if there's a part of people, I wonder if there's a part of you where people see themselves in you and then, then, because I know it. that I, I get that. They hate it because they know that they're like, oh, 
why is he in that position the jealous what why is he in me? that position what about me well I mean, that is the way a lot of people see it but fuck them bitches <laughs> <laughs> So when's your next fight going to be? It's you I don't know, as I say, I've got to get surgery. I'm getting married in May, so I'm going to have to have a Where are you going to go for your honeymoon? Do you know? I don't know. I have no idea at the minute. Oh. We haven't got no, I haven't even planned my stag do yet, lad. You know what oh. I mean? Oh, that's an, invite. that's an invite I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let me plan your bachelor party. I beat the lad. I'm going to go to I beat the lad. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'm the past. <laughs> I beat the for a few days, lad. God damn. Get oh, like yeah. a fucking boat. Yeah, I think Laura's gonna go to. I think she said Barcelona or Mykonos for it is. We're gonna do it like the same time. Cause we're getting cool. married in May, so get that done. Honeymoon and that. Do you want to go somewhere where we can just chill? Because you know what I mean. So I'll probably the Maldives or something where you just sit there and no one bothers you. Yeah. Because like we went fun. to Thailand the other week. That's why I've got a tan. Just been to Thailand. Yeah. And like we went, we stayed on a little island called Koh Ya Yai at first, and in a, in about four days, got about 20, 30 photos. Nothing, no one was saying that. And then we went to PP Island and lad got there and I got about 30 photos walking to the hotel. Really? And then, like, we went and had a rest, went for something to eat one night in this place and it was over the road from a backpackers bar. Oh. And lad I must have got about 100 pictures watching Liverpool and we got fucking beat 3 0 as well. So it just added insult to injury. So you're looking for a place where it's a little more private? Yeah, especially on the honeymoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it yeah. does, I'm used to it, it's normal to me. I, just like go ahead sound sound but Laura's like I've come for a holiday and they and they there's a thing that happens they look past her yeah they look through no, her no the cheekiest one ever lad is when they go can I get a picture and then they'll go to her yeah can you hold I it? say I end up walking away from people when they do that they don't even say nothing they just point the phone at her so I just go I just go you're not even getting one now see you later Isla they did that to Isla one time my daughter my, yeah. I've talked about my daughters a lot my act and, and I they, they mock me when I get recognized they mock me they're like I hope what's up brother what's up brother because that's what i say a lot yeah and uh and one time the guy was like oh dude dude i'm a big fan can i get a picture i go yeah sure and he gave the phone to isla and isla just sat there with the phone and didn't take a picture and just gave it back and goes awesome <laughs> picture she goes well, no one else, and no one will ever ask me to take a fucking picture again <laughs> she was like fuck that guy <laughs> yeah what well, about kids are you gonna have kids soon um yeah we're still using like push cautionary methods and not having a um, like bro like you don't have to tell nah, me. Man, you don't have to tell me. Called, you don't have to tell me. That's what I'm you call it? Birth control. Yeah, birth control. That's yeah. what you would call it. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're not planning on having no kids anytime soon. Yeah. What so, I mean? <laughs> tell me what kind of birth control you're using. I don't know anything. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. It's the most awkward question in the world. I was trying to I think of what you should call it. I was trying to think of what you should call it, lads. But, in yeah, the UK, it just gets called, methods, like, In the UK, it gets called the pill. I yeah. don't know if you should call it that. Yeah, yet. we call it the pill here. Because you said have so your ears have got so many different pills for so many different things that it's fucking ridiculous. Well, that would explain my uh my stoppage at uh at customs in London. <laughs> Cause I, I was I had a I travel with ice. Like I like I like ice. I'm a big ice fan. So I, I travel with like a, a a tumbler of ice, like ice. Whenever I fly abroad, I fill it up with ice and then I take it. And you are not allowed to bring. I got to say you can't take ice too, can you? It's liquid. You no, know, it's it's well. They it does not. It is not liquid. It's solid. It it is solid. So we got into this fight at the fucking thing. I go. This is solid. I said. Let me. Hit. I go. By the way, I could turn you into liquid, and that doesn't mean you're liquid, sir. And he goes, How would you turn me into liquid? I go. I would uh, put uh, put flame to you, and you would turn into liquid. That's how this works. <laughs> And I go, but you are a solid, correct, sir? I go, this is, I go, if I hit you with an ice dick, it's going to feel like a solid, right? You're not going to go, wow, that liquid really hurt. And then I, but I said to him, he goes, why do you have this? And I said, my wife's Nuva ring. It's a form of birth control. It's what Leanne used to use until she went to menopause. But uh, she, now she doesn't bleed anymore. She, uh, you know, menopause? Yeah. Okay. And so uh, it's called the quickening over here. The quickening? Yeah. When they Doesn't just happen fucking quick in the well, UK, she lad. <laughs> Takes about fucking 20 years. <laughs> so he's, he's, now she's a Highlander. Yeah, so my ma's only just beat it, I think. Fucking hell, lad. Your mom we, just beat it? We, we, got, we got hell for years. Yeah. Back but in ours, lad. I don't know, maybe dad was away now and then. I don't know, so we, if we were naughty, my mum would just get the bells out and just smack us. Yeah. I mean, so now, lad, the grandkids... You get the most special treatment you've ever seen. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just looking like this woman was like Cruella de Vil when I was growing up. Now she's fucking like the one of the explorer with these. What the fuck's going on? 
My parents are the same way. Yeah, they, they she were... was the grandkids come. It's just like, oh, you just fall over for them. <laughs> fucking hell with me. It was like, do don't do fucking best. He's you a biter. Know. He's a biter. Yeah. And you're like, I would have gotten my teeth yeah, filed Yeah, when it down. was me, it would have been, stop it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Children should be seen and not heard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Isla got spanked one time. My Oh, my youngest. It was the best spanking anyone's ever gotten. <laughs> and it's she earned it. She earned it. She, my wife's family's all rednecks. Uh, and so, uh, which means, you know, they like spank their kids. And so uh, they I were at the lake and I was in her bathing suit jumping on the couch and the couches were paid for by my wife's aunts. Yeah. And they're like, I'll grace Chrysler. Do not disrespect that furniture. Get off that couch right now. You got a wet bathing suit. She kept st- jumping on the couch. They go, I'll grace Chrysler. Get off that couch right now or you're going to get a spanking. Now, Isla did not know what a spanking was. She had never been spanked. And they go, Isla. And they grab her arm and they pull her off the couch and they go, you will not disrespect this furniture. And Isla looks at him and goes, <laughs> and spits on the fucking couch. She never, <laughs> she did it in that smack. I'm like, <laughs> fucking gangster. <laughs> That's one of them where it just comes up the sunglasses. Thug life. <laughs> Thug life. <laughs> fucking, I mean, Georgia looked at me and she was like, oh. And uh, Leanne Spank, I wasn't even actually there. I wasn't there. Uh, Leanne was there with Georgia. And Georgia, when Georgia told me about it, she was like, Dad. And then so they took her in the room and gave her a spanking. And the Isla was like, you just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's how it works, kiddo. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. How there's much time do we have? I don't want to run There's enough on enough over. nowadays. Dude, that's that? why kids are too cheeky nowadays. Dude. Yeah, like, I, mean, I used to get a little clip around the ear or a little smacked ass. Now, I think that's why kids are running riots. Dude, I was I was chaperoning a first grade uh, first grade event. Maybe maybe it was it was probably first grade. There's this See, boy. What, what, what age is that? First grade? Uh, six, seven, six. Yeah, seven. that's like reception. Yeah, for us year one. Yeah, and so uh, my daughters, and but they put me in charge of the boys. I was like, I don't have boy energy. Like, I I am a boy, but like. I don't have a son, so I don't know how to yeah. parent a son. I only parent girls. I should have been with the girls. And they're like, no, no, no. You were with the boys because you're a boy. Now, I'm a pretty much a bro. So this one kid, I won't say his name, uh, but I still remember his name. <laughs> it, he said, uh, I bet I could, to talk to his friends, he said, I bet I could hit one of those birds with a stick. And I was like, uh-uh. He was like, what? I said, I don't think you can. <laughs> And he goes, no, I can. I said, no, I really don't think you can. It's too hard. And he goes, bet me. I go, yeah, I'll bet you. <laughs> and the kid fucking pulls back and brains a fucking bird. One shot. <laughs> it, I mean, on the turn, it hit the bird on the turn. <laughs> All the birds fly away. And the fucking teachers lose their mind. And he's like, he dared me to do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here going, what's he in trouble for? If this was 100 years ago, he'd be our leader. He'd be our fucking, tr- I'm, I'm, what? I'm, I'd be giving my daughter to him and be like, take her, take her. I'll give you a cow to have children with her. He would fucking brain this fucking bird. I met, I saw this, I ran into this kid recently. And it stinks that that energy was squashed oh, in him. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting soft on kids these days. <laughs> Did you pay up on the bets? No, he got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> he got a lot of trouble. <laughs> I saw that kid. I saw that kid. It's funny that like that you're that like the energies that pay off are often like like what like you would have been our leader. Yeah. Like that's I mean you're you would have been our leader. You would have been like leading people into war. Yeah. With your energy. People will be like, I fucking love this guy. I'll do anything. Isn't that crazy? Like a Conor McGregor? Yeah. Like, right, that's right. crazy. Like Conor McGregor would be like Mel Gibson and Braveheart. <laughs> yeah. Would you, have you met Conor? Uh, I spoke to him on FaceTime and yeah. I was in the Black Forge. Yeah. Because we ordered half the menu in there. Uh, how you know great I mean? was that How good the food in there? Dude, did you have the steak? Yeah. I think Where he got... poured the thing over it. Uh, no, flame. I didn't. No, 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 no. I, I didn't. I So I had it on the stone. Oh, yeah, on the stone. What was the other thing then where he brings the flame out? He brings this and torches it a bit. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't have that. I just got the steak on the well, stone. Well, I, I think I ordered like three on in there. You ordered everything yeah. in there. Because I started trying other people's stuff and that. I had two desserts as well. The food was fucking amazing. The food's amazing in there. It is. Uh, I, the, the food is better than the ivy. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. I actually thought so too. The uh, the steak, I, I'm telling you, when I, I got... 
I love a good steak, but I one of the one thing I love is I I love a rare steak. Oh yeah, if you have it, your steak well done. You just don't buy a steak. Thank you. Like yeah, it We're, annoys me. Yeah, go get yourself a cheeseburger yeah. from McDonald's. I said, maybe some of my mates say to me, "Oh, there can't be no blood." I'm like, it's not blood; it's juice. Yeah, but there needs to be juice for it to be a nice juicy steak. No, you don't need that, lads. Like no pink at all. I'm like, what do you mean, no pink at all? It should be pink right through the middle. What are you talking about? No pink at all. If you go to a Michelin star restaurant and said. And I have that well done. Do you go get the fuck out my restaurant now? Well, no, what about salmon? How do you like your salmon done? Don't like salmon. Don't like salmon? No. Do you like sushi? No. What? What? I don't like most the fish. fucking dent you could put into sushi. Don't like most fish. Wait, hold on. Have you tried sushi? Yeah. And don't what? like raw fish. And, but what don't like it? most fish cooked. Really? I like, like fish and chips. Fish and chips. I like fish. And, I had fish and chips yesterday, actually. Where? San Diego. Place called Shakespeare's Pub. Uh, it has an Irish fella, the chef. So, yeah. like, a little bit of home comforts in there. And so, uh, well, I bet that's good fish I and like chips. fish and chips. I like, I'll have a prawn on a shumai. A prawn on a shoe? A shumai. See, this is another thing. Americans shumai? don't know what a shumai is. Like a pork oh, dumpling. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought you said a prawn on a shoe, just, and I was like, that's an interesting way to eat just it, call but... it. a. We just call it a shumai, and they'll come with a prawn on top. And yeah. they're like crispy one top. Chinese food? Yeah, Chinese food. Do you like dumplings? Yeah. Do you like... Uh, do you like, uh, what's it called, dim sum? Dim sum, yeah. I got a great dim sum restaurant like for you. Like when we go to Chinese, you just, just get like, like a big thing in the UK, we have a salt and pepper chicken. Uh, I, I think I've seen it. It's I think like you've seen it. Yeah. chicken, but with salt, like Chinese salt and pepper season on the outside. But it's, we have a place by ours. It just It's just known for its chicken wings. It's called Happy Seasons. Yeah. But if you type in on your phone, Ming's Wings, it comes up, Happy Seasons. Because the old fella in there is called Ming and yeah. his wings. It's called <laughs> Ming's wings. It's famous in really? Liverpool, Ming's wings. Because it's it's not even like a... Like a well, it doesn't look like a brand new chippy. It's been there for like 30 years. Yeah. But people just go in there for wings. And the little salt and pepper bits, you can get like a chip bar and go, with bits on, please. Or like you get the spring rolls and go, with bits on, please. Mm, and by the way... <laughs> I'm going to have drool running out of my fucking mouth. Sweet. This podcast is sponsored by Groove Life. It's 2023. Are you still using the same wallet from 2003? Now is the time to update your wallet game. The Groove Life wallet is a sleek, low-profile wallet engineered for everyday use. One simple thumb motion directs all the cards perfectly, fans up to six cards for easy access to find everything you need. And with its durable, high-quality aluminum outer shell, this wallet is unlike any wallet I've ever seen. Whatever happens to your Groove Life gear, they're here to help. With Groove Life's 94-year no BS warranty, the Groove Wallet is the last wallet you are ever going to need. And if you're the kind of guy like me who carries a ton in his wallet and needs a little more space, they've got the detachable money clip or premium leather card holder that maintains that sleek look Groove Life has become famous for but gives you the room you may need. I love my Groove Life wallet. I hated my last wallet. Leanne bought it for me. And I was like, God dang it. And I felt married to it. And then I got this wallet and I'm telling you right now, I've never been happier. And I will notice that I sometimes don't even notice in my pocket. And I'm like, oh nice, I got it on me. It's time to bring your wallet into the 21st century. Head to GrooveLife.com slash Burt and use the promo code Burt for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code Burt for 20% off your order. One last time, that's promo code BERT for 20% off your order. We are supported by the best sitcom I have seen in 20 plus years. The Miss Pat Show on BET Plus, now streaming only on BET Plus, the mother of all sitcoms. Miss Pat's back to tell it like it is, and man, she does. If you haven't seen this show, I'm telling you, get BET Plus right now. It is that good. It is so real, just like Miss Pat. You love her on our, on our podcast because she keeps it real. Man, she did not cower at all. This show is so awesome. At times I go, I can't believe she got it past network execs. I'm telling you right now, you're going to love it. This season, Miss Pat's career is taking off, and she's ready to hit the road on her stand-up comedy tour with one of her heroes. She is opening for one of her heroes with her sister Denise acting as her assistant and manager. Nothing's going to stop her from pursuing her dream, except maybe her sister, her new boss, and her kids, both the Medicaid ones and the Blue Cross Shield ones. While protecting herself and her talent, Miss Pat will have to decide if fame should ever come before family. What's great about this, by the way, 
is that this is what she's really going through. <laughs> so you know this is going to be good. An all-new season of the hit comedy Miss Pat show is now streaming exclusively on BET+. Still don't have BET+. Plus? To learn more and join the millions who stream black culture, visit BET.plus. We know how do you feel about when you find a great restaurant? How do you feel about the idea? Do you share that on social media and take take it and blow that spot up, or do you keep it private so that you can go there and it's never packed? Nah, when it's a like a local business, I always like to share it, but I yeah, wait till I've left now. You what? wait till I've left. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good call. Because like lad, no, it even happened in Thailand the other day. It happened in Thailand. Uh, the missus put up. We were having breakfast somewhere, and this lad turned up for me to sign something. I was like. And I like, how do you even know I'm here? You know what I mean? You got a picture with him and that. Like, <laughs> he must have geotagged you in a post. Yeah. Like there's a there's another one, but like a lot of there's a few places in the pool I love, like Breakfast Lounge. That's like a daytime one. They do all they do a breakfast wrap. Whereas like egg, bacon, cheese, sausage, hash browns, you know all, I mean? all, all in a wrap. I don't like I don't like potatoes inside my breakfast burritos. Don't you? No. I feel like it, you're taking up territory. I know what you mean. You could have more meat. I'm yeah. waiting on that one. Meat and cheese. I, I all I want uh, I, the uh, I want chorizo. I want eggs. See, that's we we don't have chorizo and I like breakfast wraps by ours. Really, it's like bacon sausage, bacon egg, sausage, egg and cheese, cheese, and I'm cool. I don't like hash browns. It's just it's it's like you're I I, I know what you're doing. You're tricking me. Your hash browns aren't like our hash browns though. No, your hash browns aren't as good. Have you had a Pramani Brothers in Pittsburgh? No, I've never Man, been there's, Pittsburgh. There needs to be a cooking show with you going it to does. eat. That really does. By the way, you're doing it. You're doing it in your vlog, and it's really good. Yeah, as I a guy who's on I, Travel Channel for I fucking just seven like years, eating. yeah, I just like I proper enjoy eating. It's a good. You don't like drinking the way you like eating. So I, I like know eating, and I like drinking. I lad, I always people always laugh and I say it, but if someone gives you the option, you can only do one for the rest of your life: have sex or food. I'm, I'm, I think I'm picking food. I'm picking booze. <laughs> Definitely pick a booze. <laughs> food, food. Some foods can turn you. Some foods are erotic, like a great chocolate, like a great dessert. Oh, and I can sit there. Like there was a lab by ours. Um, what was his name on instead? The cookie man or something. He had this. Oh my god! But lad, and a he just makes stuff. On an he airplane. makes no lad, and he makes stuff. But lad, he stopped making them. But I used to get these cookie dough pies off him. I've seen the cookie dough pies. Yes, lad, they are orgasmic. Like oh, that is an accurate statement. Great, like a hot brownie when it's with ice cream in the middle. and it's melted, and you get the you're getting. Have you seen the slut brownies? The what? Slut brownies, where no. it's like half cookie, half brownie. No, it's like half cookie texture, half brownie texture. I'm gonna fuck up food today, lad. It's the slut brownies are heavy. You should, you should, like we you have should speak at an Eaters Anonymous <laughs> and watch them fall off the fucking wagon. <laughs> yeah, but um, like there's loads of stuff by ours, like midnight delivery and loads of ones like that where they're open to like two in the morning. Yeah. And they can go and get like milkshakes, warm cookie dough, cookie dough pie, brownies. Milkshakes? Yeah. Dude, I, I, I'll tell you what. A great milkshake is worth the calories. Oh, yeah. It's worth the calories. I I, I, I came to terms with it when I stopped. Dr I, 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 we do Sober it's October. It's how many calories is in it. Though, it's crazy. It? Lad. Like when you see someone eating an ice cream cone, you go, you just don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, lad, it's, I'm, it, it's crazy. I can remember getting one in like Baskin and Robbins and sort of Northern Elijah and looking up and seeing... 1400 calories and just being thinking fuck me yeah i have to run half a marathon to burn this off yeah what the fuck dude good a good like a root beer float that's See, i can't do that that's fucking disgusting no 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 no, no. Beer, don't ice cream and fizzy drinks is just wrong ice cream it's so good it's so disgusting that it makes me want to be sick no. also people you people who dip chips well fries in, in milkshakes in are fucking disgusting. Hold on, hold on. Now now I want to storm the Capitol. Hold on. Have you ever had a Frosty from don't, Wendy's? Don't, just don't get me started a on them. Dipping fries in ice cream or milkshakes is fucking disgusting. Chocolate And should frosty. be banned. Anyone that does that should, should be castrated Cha so that their kids don't do it. Okay, hold on. Now... A chocolate frosty from Wendy's. Their fries, the way it works, for some reason. No. So I'm fucking, not having it. You're not having it? No. <laughs> Hot and cold like that just don't go. 
It's just, oh. oh, it's so good. Like, I don't, like, that's another one that just bothers me when Americans have it, chicken and waffles on the same plate. Oh, hold on. Why would you hold have on, chicken hold and waffles on, on the whoa, same plate? Whoa, 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 Patty, we don't want you to get cancelled. Be careful with what you're saying here, okay? Waffles. These are really aggressive statements. Waffles and other Hold on, we just had chicken and waffles. Desserts. We had chicken and waffles the other fucking day in Tempe. How great were those chicken and waffles? They complement each other they like don't. blowjobs and finger in the ass. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're fucking so good. Chicken and waffles is... I won't touch, lad. I wouldn't touch you. Oh my God, we got to take you to Roscoe's. It's another one. Roscoe's like, Chicken and Waffles in LA. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in LA is next fucking level. I'll the try chicken, it. Like. The chicken is phenomenal. Pheno- it is perfect. And their waffles are the best I've ever fucking had. The chicken and waffles. In- Some of the things you put on plates together, like there's one in the UK what's copied it. They've copied the, the American style. It's called Bubba's Trap Kitchen. And it comes with like, pancakes with like whole bits on then like chicken and stuff and then it co- it's got like lobster on it and all that yeah. and it comes with your desserts on the same plate it's just they're meant to be separate yeah, it's that, called that, dessert yeah that, that, that one's have you, had a, have you had a McGriddle no it's that can you do me one favor <laughs> get a McGriddle while you're in uh, in here it's a McGriddle's at McDonald's I had a um, that's a better picture that one on the right you know you can see me sister and that on that. What is that? That picture on the right, that's when I won the belt years ago, the big one. Like, that's my sister with the red dress on in front of me. And my granddad's to the right. Really? Yeah, and that's my bird's cousin. My bird's cousin. I'm going to start calling my wife my bird. That's just something we say, we can't help it. Yeah. Like, I'm trying I say to, chick. It's Cockney ramen slang. I can't remember what the other... This is a McGriddle. It's a pancake with syrup inside, bacon... Syrup Jeez. inside the inside pancake. Inside the pancake, and it does. See, lad, bacon you gotta try it. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. It's so good. It works. It listen. A th- hundred thousand people, million people can't be wrong. I know. I know what you mean, but Americans have some weird taste buds. Because I'm, I, I'm. I'll be honest. I've got the palate of like a fifteen year old. No, I like. I don't want bean sprouts and that in my noodles. Yeah, like no, that makes sense. I don't want them stocked out with shit when I could have noodles yeah no I, that makes sense when I get noodles pasta, I just want kind of, noodles what, if you're meat. gonna have pasta let's run through a few dishes if you're gonna have pasta what pasta do you get I get oven baked pasta in the place in Liverpool Casa d'Italia it's been going for like 50-60 really? years how about it's carbonara tortellini alla panna it's called tortellini alla panna yeah uh, carbonara oh we love I'm, carbonara I'm a carbonara guy yeah. that's my go to pasta yeah it's my favorite Lord loves carbonara yep uh, okay uh, pizza what's your go to pizza pepperoni yeah pepperoni done no uh, questions like asked. in the UK we have bar- they do barbecue mm-hmm. based ones now so like barbecue based chicken's nice but pepperoni all day uh, if fine. you like Hawaiian pizza uh, don't ever speak to me don't again. speak to me either yeah. thank you so much I'm glad we can agree like, on that anyone who eats Hawaiian pizza is just disgusting. I don't think Hawaiians eat Hawaiian And once pizza. again, shouldn't be allowed to reproduce. How do you feel about bar- barbecue chicken pizza? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a fan. Bar- not like, like barbecue base? No, with like barbecue sauce? Like in, in the UK, we have that where they replace the tomato with barbecue with sauce. Barbecue. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, the barbecue like I do, I don't mind it. Um, if you're going to get a burger, how do you get your burger? Like if I go to in and out, I get a four by oh, four. Fucking just shut the Just fuck cheese up. and meat, nothing else. God, we should have just sauce. eaten all day. But in and out, double, uh, double, double animal style. Uh, so you need to go four by four. Well, it's four by four. You get four burgers, four cheese, four meat on the bomb bit on the one bone. Uh, you can do that. You someone told me the day. Show you me can a picture do... in and out four by four. Someone's, I know what I'm getting for lunch. Someone told me the day you can go eight by eight. So I'm gonna go eight by eight. You can go eight by eight. I've never Are you tried. Shitting it, me? So we need to do that. Shut the fuck up. You can go four by four, dude. Yeah, I... Look, I, every time I go, I get that. I feel like that's me in and out every time. Four by four, lad. No lettuce, Shut no tomato. Just cheese and up. meat and sauce. That is all you need. So, what's your breakfast order? Full English. Full English. Yeah. And then, if you go to a dinner, if you and your wife say tonight we're going to a nice dinner, where what kind of dinner do you go to, and what do you order? Depends. Depends. Because like steakhouse, steak normally. Yeah, steakhouse. we normally go to the steakhouse, and I always like getting something different. So in case you don't, she doesn't eat it all. I can finish hers off. You know what I mean? But Laura's got a big appetite because of me, though. Like she yeah. never used to hardly eat anything, but because I eat that much, she does. But it pisses me off because she doesn't fucking put any weight on, yeah. and I go blump out like the fucking flubber. <laughs> What's the fattest you've ever been? Fastest I've ever been is like two ten, two oh nine, two ten. Yeah, oh, you should try two fifty. It hurts. It's I mean, you have a hard time wiping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> can't shave your balls at 250. <laughs> you can't see them. You can't find them. It's just, it's just a lot of guesswork boy, down there. Like I've always said, though, like when people say, oh, I need to lose weight, I always just say to him, can you see your own dick? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that. Uh, that's a good point. I can see. As long I can, as you I can, can see, see your own, my dick now. As long as you can see your own dick, life's not bad. Um, uh, we're gonna get you out of here. You, I, you're, I, I'm so excited to have met you. You're fucking such a cool dude. Yeah, this is the first of many. This lot definitely first of many times. Dude, I'm doing this cooking show. You Death are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to do that. Something's burning. What I'm gonna you, fucking make you. What something. are you gonna cook? What are we gonna cook though? Cook. Uh, it's gotta be something proper American now. We've just been talking about it. Like, oh, it's, it'll be proper American. It's gotta be something proper, proper American, lad. I like, might. I, I, I will. You I love, will. You'd love your brisket here, don't you? Brisket's one of the the main things. Yeah. Brisket, uh, barbecue. Uh, d- put in dinosaur ribs. You ever have dinosaur rib? No, uh, I love ribs. Dinosaur rib. It's uh, this is the rib. It's a beef rib, but it's, it's like when I eat like when I go to eat ribs or chicken wings with people, and they, they're still Take meat. A look. Right. There's still meat on the bone. That's, that's oh, what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we'll make you dinosaur beef ribs. Yeah, I, I will. We will do a barbecue smorgasbord of every type of barbecue you can I'll make. It all. I'll that's smoke sweet. all they're of it. Heavy, dude. They're, they're fucking ribs, lad. Heavy as fuck. That's the only thing about when you order ribs from somewhere. There's not much meat on dude, them or chicken wings. It pisses me off. Dude, go to barbecue with Joe Rogan, and he will no fucking lie eat twelve of those. Yeah, he I, eats I eat at least tw- six of them if that's all we're eating. Like, probably more. When you're in Austin, when we come back, we'll do we'll do something's burning. Think Proper American barbecue. Well, he, uh, Tim Kennedy. I need to meet Tim Kennedy. Tim Kennedy. I've had him fucking... on the podcast, and he's great, lad. He's a boss fella. I need Dude, to meet him, lad. He's cool as fuck. Uh, come back. Maybe what we'll do is, if I don't know if you, we'll because I do it with two people. But what yeah. we can do is, I can do you, your wife, and my wife. Our wives will drink rosé. Yeah, that'll be funny as yeah, fuck. Yeah, we'll, we'll have them drink rosé. She's rose. downstairs watching. She'll probably be in on that. Yeah. And, and it's even funnier because, as you said, your wife's a redneck. I love that accent. Uh, hey, y'all. How's it hanging? Yeah. <laughs> hey, and y'all get off my porch and my pa's going to shoot you. <laughs> Memo. Memo. They ain't leaving the porch. <laughs> Shit. Get the shotgun, Memo. <laughs> yeah, that's my wife's family. The uh, great at blowjobs. Uh, my wife, not her family. No, I mean, probably, I guess it runs in the family, but she is. I think it's because most of her family can't read. The... Uh, <laughs> But when we do something's burning, proper fucking a, a smorgasbord of barbecue, American barbecue, coleslaw. We'll have mac and cheese. Fucking that's, that's baked what beans. I love about being in America. In fact, everywhere you go has mac and cheese. Everywhere mac and in cheese the UK, everywhere doesn't have mac and cheese. Are you serious? Yeah, but like mac and che- like ch- mac and cheese with chicken and chorizo, so lobster mac and my, cheese. Um, lobster. No, lobster's disgusting. <laughs> But my um, like my food prep company back home, they make a like a, like a low calorie, just under five hundred calories, yeah. chicken chorizo, mac and cheese, macro chef, that's unbelievable. Oh. It's so it's like it makes dieting easy when you're on a diet when that's on of a week. When you know that that's coming up, yeah. When right? you know when that you know that's that next can... week, yeah, 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 when yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he brings the menu out on a Saturday morning for the Monday to Sunday next week, and when that's on the menu, you're like, yeah, next week's dieting isn't going to be hard, dude. That's how I live my life by treats. Yeah, if I know that I have treats coming, then I can I can work hard You've and get him. shit done. Like after, as I always say, like I love me food. I love putting. I don't like putting weight on. I can't help putting weight on. Yeah, because I eat that much. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yesterday morning, I just went. I knew I wasn't gonna do much that day, so I had to go for a five mile run in the morning because I know how much I eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even when I'm injured, I have to still train. Yeah. Because I'm a fat cunt. Me too. Like, I'm a fat bastard. I I am a big fat bastard. Yeah. Like Laura keeps on me case lately. Like never mind just for me fighting career. So like the missus, she's like. Yeah, why do you keep going fat? Why do you keep going fat? I love that you fart a lot too. Oh, lad. I no, fart. Funny you mentioned that, lad. I've been waking up every morning and just like, I've been waking up like four in the morning just going, <laughs> waking Laura up and that going, thank you, that's in my direction. You're <laughs> disgusting. You're horrible. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's a normal human bodily function. Like, I just, every time I fart like that, I go, what did that asshole say? <laughs> the Can I tell you a little trick before we let you go? A little trick, if you're ever farting on an airplane, okay? Oh, I just fart? No, no, no. Hear me out. Go to the flight attendant and get a prepackaged coffee filter, one that has the coffee in it, like a little pocket. And then fart in it. Put it under your asshole, and you can fart into it all flight long, and no one will smell your farts. It smells like they're making coffee. It's amazing. I've been doing it my whole adult life. I'll be honest, I just fart. 
That's also one way to go about it. On a plane, because like the air and that, you don't really smell it that much. Yeah, you definitely smell it. You definitely smell it. Well, you I, don't smell it because it's yours, but you definitely smell them. I just fart my head off me, lad. <laughs> I do, lad. I can't help it. I just fart. I was going to say something then. I just forgot what I was going to say. How often do you think you burp a day? How many times? Oh, lad, that's another bad thing. Like, even when I'm dieting, I'm dieting, eating healthy. Yeah. And, lad, I will still bear no fizzy drinks, and I'll bear multiple times a day. Oh. Even like on a diet, so I'm just a gassy person as it is. Segura said that to me. We were driving somewhere at Tom Segura, and he said, "How many times do you think you burp a day?" I said, "I don't know, a couple." And he goes, "You've burped ten times on this car ride." Yeah, and I go, "Oh, I don't even realize I do." I it. don't realize I'm doing it, and then yeah. like someone says, "Like you're gassy, you aren't you?" I'm like I am, because I fart a lot. I fart I a burp lot. A lot. Even when I'm, even when like I'm dieting, but like that's what I mean. I eat that much. So this morning, I wake up every morning. I have to go to the toilet like three times. Really? Yeah, I have to have like three shits before I leave the house. I have I have one. I have to do two shits. I've broken them up and did two. I have one that the first one always feels like it's coming out oh, sideways. It's a big solid one. And oh. the next one's always a fucking audible one. And what I'll do is I'll take a shit and then I'll take the bidet and I'll shoot water up my asshole and I'll <laughs> loosen up my asshole so I can suck it in. And so it'll start wish washing it around. And then I'll go do something, have a coffee, and then I See come back that? and just fire it. So you're doing like you're giving like yourself a homemade colonic. A little public enema. Little yeah. homemade colonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's See, I can't use one of them bidets. Really? Yeah, one of the, someone I met. Oh, it's in a game changer. Th- uh, someone I met in Thailand said about the bidet and was like, I didn't nearly fucking blew my ass all the way. <laughs> oh, I love them. I love them. I'm, dude, I've been hands free for fucking years. Before we finish, anyway, I better give you the little gift anyway. Better What's give that? you some of these, me pre rolls. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, them ones of the year. Dude, thank you so the much. Sangria runs. They've got a child lock on as well. Oh, I, so I'll, be I'll careful. teach my kids how to open yeah. up. <laughs> Look at that. Patty's baddies. What a great nickname. I know. Patty ba- Patty's baddies. Everyone always asks me where I got it. I didn't like have a thought about it. Never got thought about it. It was just like, oh, it's got a little, you need to get the sticker you. off the bottom first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's extra child lock the I first. I took. My coach literally just said, um, like it was my third amateur fight, the, the, con- the announcer come out and said, what's your nickname? So they haven't got one. My me, me coach, me coach just <laughs> went, Paddy the baddie. That's his name, Paddy the baddie. And I just went, yeah, go ahead. Really? Just stuck. You know what I mean? It's... I thought, you want to know my nickname? My nickname, we'll end on this. They're telling me you got to get out of here. But so my nickname, oh, I love these. Yeah. Good gear. These smell beautiful. Um, my nickname is The Machine. And I got it when I got involved with the Russian Mafia when I was a kid. And uh, and what I was trying to say, there's a little sidebar to the story. I was trying to say I'm the man, which is Yamashina. Yeah. But I said Yamashinu, which means I'm a car. And that's why they laughed. It's like, it was like, you're what? I said, I'm a, I'm a car. I'm the machine. I'm the car. <laughs> and they're like, okay, does the car want to party with us? And I was like, the car loves to party. <laughs> and so they, it was just so ridiculous that it stuck. And they just called call me the machine. And I pulled out lemons. And, that, and, I, and my fanny pack, I had lemon sugar and vodka. So we were going to do lemon drops. I want to do lemon drops. And I put out lemons. And they go, the, ma- the machine runs on lemons? And I, and I, they all laughed and then it stuck. <laughs> stuck forever. It stuck. I told the story on Rogan and it's stuck forever. Yeah, that's now, it. As I say, Paul got it. Paul just said, Paddy the Baddy off the cuff. It's great. It's a great it. fucking nickname. Yeah. It's better, better than Paddy the Molester. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely better than that. <laughs> no one ever wants to say that again. <laughs> Paddy the Pedophile. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know him as the Pedophile. <laughs> Paddy the Petty. <laughs> See that stuff like that by eyes, you get cancelled for saying that if you're an MMA fighter. Fucking hell. Dude, I'm glad to have met you. No, you're fucking been an awesome. Pleasure, I'm so lad. excited. I I I just I found you on my own. I saw you and I got so excited. I remember bringing you up to Rogan and uh and I was I'm, and you're you're just a fun fucking dude. I'm glad you're in this world. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm glad to meet you also. I'm glad you're here. It's been a pleasure to meet you, lad. And as I say, this will be the first of many. Yeah, definitely. Defo. Done. Yes. That was fucking great, yeah, man. Thank that you. That was great. That was fucking awesome. That was hilarious.